Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome back to Empire's SMP. We are back here yet again for episode number six, my friends, where last time we built up this gatehouse. It's looking absolutely fantastic out here, and I love this thing. I think it's turned out so absolutely well for us. This walkway leading up to the front, the roadway and everything now. Oh, it's looking so very, very cool. And arguably the best part about it was we were able to acquire these two white kitties, the ferocious cats themselves that were seen eating rabbits in the desert. Hi buddies, how you doing? Absolutely adorable. I've got an awesome episode of planned here for today with a lot of potion brewing action, a lot of just shenanigans all around the place, I'm hoping, as well as a brand new building in the village. We'll see how we can do on that one. But please be sure to click that like button down below, my friends, if you are enjoying this series. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. We just hit 600,000 subs, so thank you all so very much for that. Starting off the intense action today, my friends, here with a little bit of fishing because I need more fish to breed those cats. Oh, yeah. Very exciting. Oh, and he, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, I told you, any second now, any second now, first cod. Not sure how many cats we need exactly, but the sun is setting now, and apparently uh, gonna be right back in the sky over there in a minute. But over here, we've got a lot of salmon, and we've got a lot of cod. So let's go ahead and breed up our two lovely kitties. I think the, the evilness inside these two cats will be compounded and just multiplied inside of this little baby tiny one. <laughs> You're absolutely adorable and so evil. I love it. Well, I was out there, I also managed to finish up a power for bow, but unfortunately it's got Curse of Vanishing on it. And then we got a saddle, which is super sweet, and a water bottle, which is going to lead us into the next part. Where we are going to need to somehow find a way to get a lot more spider eyes, because I want to start doing some dangerous potion brewing. And a lot of it revolves around spider eyes, or fermented spider eyes, so we also need brown mushrooms for that. And I finally organized this whole thing, and I have no idea where I put anything. So for a good little quick detour over here, I'm thinking it's time to breed up the cows so we can get a little bit more leather rocking i know i know we've been killing a lot of horses and not many people have been excited about it as joel and i are apparently but you know it's fine it's fine we'll just go back to killing the boring cows because they apparently don't make a sad sound when you kill them so it's okay to kill them to minecraft players i don't understand how this works but next up on the list is i've been wanting to upgrade our potion brewing room as you can see we've got these guys in here that are all set up as awkward potions so far I guess this could temporarily work, but I want to get a much bigger and grander room that we can use for these. Now, we've got the room for all of the glow berries down here, which I think is kind of funny to keep them in here and just expand a little further. And that is the floor up there of our kitchen. So, like, we can get into the furnaces right here. And then, unfortunately, I did start doing stuff right down here. So, we can't really use this section either, seeing as we have the tunnel here. Down here, we have the nether wart, which appears to be ready to be gathered, which is great. A stack in 34 is not a bad way to go. I think I'm just going to store it all down here for now. I don't really want to bother taking this stuff over to the storage room if it's only only use for potion brewing, which we're going to be doing right in here. This railroad is really in the most inconvenient place I think I could have possibly put it. But what if I'm thinking the perfect option we have here is to send ourselves off this way a little bit and work ourselves going downwards and just open up a really large room for ourselves because I want to make it look like we're brewing giant potions with giant cauldrons and all that sort of stuff. So my friends right here, smack dab at the start of today's episode, let's go ahead and kick this off in a good old fashioned green screen mode. Time lapse mode. And there we go, my friends. We've got our new potion brewing room that I absolutely love. And uh, thankfully, I put some redstone dust around here at the last places where mobs can spawn. And so as far as I know, it is spawn proof inside of here. And it is looking so very cool. We've got these giant vats for brewing the potions, whatever the heck that would be happening over in there. Then, you know, the actual Minecraft potion brewers. And then we have the giant cauldron, which I threw some soul fire campfires inside of and some purple glass on top and i love this thing look at all these glow berries glowing up around the place here too it is so absolutely awesome i figured all of the back locations we could put the moss in i will be honest though i wish instead of the moss being a carpet i wish it was a layer block 
the same way snow works because I know it doesn't naturally spawn in the game right now. So that could have kind of been a fun mechanic to be able to work with here in order to bring that up like another little like a pixel or two right back there in the corner. Oh, that would be amazing. But the next thing on the list that we need, unfortunately, is I need some more blaze powder because we're running low on that stuff when I had to move these guys down here. Unfortunately, everything I had loaded inside the chamber already, uh, we lost it all. But on top of that, I really, really need to get uh, apparently a trade deal rocking with sausage but on top of that I really need to get some spider eyes I have absolutely no idea if the voice thing will be able to reach this far but I'm gonna see because gems portals right there she's trying to link everything up we're right back over here and uh, let's see if this will work out hello can you hear me I don't I don't think it's working but we got that we got the Minecraft old-school communication of the jump and the punch the jump and the punch flip I'm scared Oh my gosh, I <laughs> really freaked me out there. Hi, how Did you doing? Did forget that we can voice? <laughs> yeah, that, yep, yeah, uh-huh. You're almost there, you're almost there. Just don't look down. Don't, don't look down at all, I okay? I have to look down, Flip. Don't, no, don't, to. don't look down. No, no looking down, uh, no looking down. Okay, there you go, you done it. you've done it, you've done it. Okay, I'm gonna make it wider. This is danger, this is a path Yeah, of probably, yeah, maybe like some handrails or something along there. Oh, look at this professional in action. Professional Minecrafter in action right here. Watch. She's doing it. Go, Gem. Go. You can do it, Gem. You can do it. Go, Gem. You got this. I believe in you. You can do this, Gem. Nope. Nope. Running away. Running away. Nope. There goes the fireball back at him. Let's watch. Will she do it? Nope. She's not doing the best. Come on. He's right there. He's right there. Oh, you ha you're so close. Oh, now she's on fire. This is not good. This is not good for Gem, everybody. I didn't bring my bow. I can't. I can't. Oh, now she's got a bow. Oh, look at her. Oh, professional. <sighs> look at you, you professional. That was a great battle to watch. That was very rude of that gas. I didn't <laughs> like that, but you did not I, come to my rescue at all, by the I, way. Thank yeah, you no, I, I was being an announcer up there. And also, I uh, I don't have a bow, so uh -huh. yeah. You know, we have a skelly farm, right? You could just get a bow. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a bow. It's just not with me. Whose portal exactly. is this over here, by the way? Do you see that? And uh, another waste biome. Then? Oh, who is I, it? I don't. I don't know. I haven't. Who would be that way? Scott, Catherine. Scott or Catherine? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. There's a giant magma cube coming over this way. Oh no! One just fell in the lava. Okay, it's right, right here. Look at that. Ah, Look at that. It's cool, so close. Cool. We're That's so close nice. to each other. Kind of unsafe though, Flip. Not gonna lie. You need a platform. Says the one with lava literally right next to her portal, I, I believe. Yeah, but I built a platform. A uh, sausage says to keep bridging. Oh my, is that his portal? I see him. Oh, he's standing over there. Is it really his? What? I hope not. Why is it his? Oh, do we really want to build this bridge? Look at him over there. Is this, is this what we want to do? Yeah. He's our friend, Flip. I'll be on gas watch. Even though I don't, you don't have, have a, a bow, bow, so I don't know how you're gonna do that. But team, watch Jim do everything in the Nether today. Oh, I love this team. This team's fan. Oh, I saved it. Don't worry. See, I saved the block. Look at that, professional. Thank you, Flip. You're so. What would I do without you? Oh, you yeah, see, look, look at you misplacing there. all these ones. Totally yeah, it's gonna help. Heaven what? forbid either of you two help me. No, we're helping. We're cheerleaders. I, we're... I, I, I have no blocks. Um, I just have one uh, Nether rack, and I just put it down. Uh, Jim, you might not want to back up too much farther, though. Yeah, yeah, look at yeah, look at you. You knew what you're doing. You know what you see. You don't need us to do anything. You got it. No, you're doing great. Right. You know what? You should do a you're fully diagonal great. now. It's diagonal time, Jim. Show those building skills. No, that's that's a straight line, but that's no, okay. No, we're doing 90 degrees only. I'm sorry. Oh, perfect. Look at the stair down. That's nice. Yeah, you know, I could I could really use some of these mushrooms here too. So thank thanks for getting us all the way over here. I appreciate that. Oh. Perfect. Good. I'm so glad that everybody's happy and not nervous. My pinkies are sweating. Is this your portal sausage? Do you know who this no, is? No, no, no. I thought this was Jim. Jim, is that you? No, but we can go through and see. Oh, the, no. This is, is this? Scott. Oh, yeah, there's Scott. Oh, see, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, this makes me happy. <laughs> this is cool. I like that. My God, that took forever. Help me. I think you got stuck. Yeah, it cuts off as well when you, <laughs> when you go through. <laughs> so it's really funny. <laughs> so... If he came from this way, is, can we get to everybody else's portals in here? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> help! 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 Jim! Really Jim, help! Jim, help! Gold. Help! Help! Okay, I'll help. Oh my god, I got trapped in between dimensions! Help me! 
Thank you. Help. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. I, I need help. I need I need that help. Uh, he uh, he also Everybody needs your help. help. He help. he also <laughs> needs your sausage. help. Why do you need help? Oh my god, I was trapped between two dimensions. I was going back and forth. I wasn't I don't know what's happening. So I understand you came over to trade. Yes. You need you yes. need something? You need something. Yeah, yeah. I need let, 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 let's go into the overworld because I'm afraid if I drop this down, uh it's gonna get burned up and it's very rare. Ah help me, I'm going through another dimension again. Why help. is there a horse? Um, that, it's my friend, Help! Gemma. It's no, it's fine. How you Help! doing, Gem? Great to see you. Great, great to see you. How you doing? Not under the, under the ground. Heads. That's help. evil. No, no, what? It's no, no, it's again. fine. They're they're all friends. Sausage they're all friends. Needs help. Oh God. Okay. Every time <laughs> I go through another portal, it feels like I'm going underground. A good smack in the back. Oh, don't worry. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. That's so scary. You don't understand how scary that is. It feels like I'm going through places I'm not supposed to go to. Okay, listen. <laughs> Listen, this is what I need. It's so hard right oh. now to get XP. It is so very hard. So I need access to the Skelly Spawner. And I got one for each of you. One of the rarest items in the game. The Drip Leaf. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. I give one, one. You get one. You get one. And then you can bone meal it infinitely. Okay. All right. And then you let me access to your bone farm. Okay. Okay. You're looking for experience or you're looking for drops? How about both? But, you know. Um, uh, or is this I just I think you, I think we gotta increase the deal if you yeah, want. Yeah, if you want both, that's gotta be okay. more than one little plant there. So the thing is, how would you even know? Oh, I'll know. I'm just what, knowing Flip that out there. I, I probably even? won't know, but Flip will probably okay. know, and you don't want to mess with that. Okay, no, I don't yeah, want to. Okay, that's fine. Okay, how about this? Okay, this is automatic for XP, right? Is this good enough for XP? That's yeah, that, that, that yeah. can work for XP. Okay, here for you XP. get one for XP. You get one for XP. Okay. How about we can access your villagers if you can access our bones? Woo! I, would, that, I like that. I like that. I definitely haven't. No. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't that have sounds any great. villagers. I don't that's know. Why, you that's why. That's why. I. They I call it. You know what? Between I got villagers up there. They're chilling. This, between the two of you, you know. Now I know why they call Jem the smart one. So I agree. It's Thank the brain and agree. the brawn, and then that's then it. there's me, and then yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. You can pass. Okay, you can pass by. You can get any villager access you want. Unlimited access for bonage and for the XP. Because you know, maybe we could drop by when you're online, and I could just toss yep. you a few emeralds, toss you a few books, and then you toss okay. back a few enchanted books, and then we everybody goes their happy ways, and give well, you a little extra. emerald tip that, this there. This is and... extra, though. This is extra. What 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 am I gonna get out of this thing? That's extra now. Um, bones. Bones. No, no, I'm already getting bones. I'm already getting bones. We already. There's an enchanting the setup at the Skelly Spawner too. Oh, okay. I can access. So that you can too. do all your enchanting oh. over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that sounds. That sounds nice. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 That's fine. Now this is another. How about this? Okay. Sweeten it even more. Why did you set up another portal? Because I ain't walking all that. I know how far it is. It's already set up. It's already Sam. done. It's already what? done. It's okay, already done. Deal. Shake it. Shake it. Shake. It. Shake it. Perfect. Shake. All right, we're good. We're good. Deal Shake. all all around. We're good. Please, this is I'm such a nice problems. start to a good old trade wait, wait, partnership wait, over here. All of us. Oh, look at us here. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. show me show me how to get there, and I, I won't tell anybody else where it's at. Not even if they pay me a lot of money. Well, I was actually just headed over there to set up the auto collection system for the whole thing. So yeah, I, I could take you over there. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. That sounds good. You guys do that. Uh, I'm gonna go home. Okay. okay, yeah, well, I think we're all well, going we're in here, but, you know, anyways, it's that yeah, awkward, okay. you know, we're saying goodbye, we're all walking the same direction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll fall into the floor. Help, yeah. Help, help, uh, here, I got help, you, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I, I tried to punch him. He's not moving. Okay. Jeff, I need you to punch him. Back. Right now. Punch I'm him good. Back. Okay, oh, okay. Runs. Okay. Why does that happen every time? You good? Very interesting little adventure there that led us to acquire our first small drip leaf. And oh my gosh, do I love this block and we can't even put it on there. Course dirt? No, I think I need moss block. And yes, perfect. Okay, there we go. And if we bone meal, this guy turns into a large drip leaf, which I believe we can keep growing infinitely all the way into the sky. Now, I probably should have checked how to break this thing first, but I believe you can use just a fist. Yes, yes, you can. Okay, that's very good. We have a lots of big drip leaf now. Not too sure what I want to do with it right now, but we've got 46 and some fell on the roof. We're just going to leave that up there. Oh my gosh, this item model is massive. Block, big drip leaf. Little block, big drip leaf. I was able to acquire a lot of brown mushrooms in the nether too, which leads me to the next project here is instead of working on the village today, I'm kind of in the mood just to get a functional stuff out of the way. Just getting a lot of stuff done here. 
And one is going to be, I want to build up a dripstone farm. A little bit bigger than that, dude. And hopefully better than that one. And I want to see if Jimmy is around and see if he's acquired any slime balls yet. I know he wants to trade that with everybody. So I'm hoping he has at least a few since he's been living in the swamp. I need a bunch of slime blocks. That being said, first and foremost is I wanted to dive down into the mines for ourselves and uh, definitely not the entrance into our potion brewing section is right under here. Nope, definitely didn't have to rebuild that. But if I remember correctly, there was a abandoned mine shaft down here somewhere underground that I've dug into either by strip mining or just exploring the caves in general. I want to see if I can find that again. Skeleton, I am the archer. Took a little bit longer to find that I thought I would, but here we go, my friends. We can see the oak planks right down there, and I'm really hoping that is not somebody just completely trolling me, and then that is actually an abandoned mine shaft, and there's a rail. Okay, we are in business, and there, there, my friends, are a lot of cobwebs. But we are inside a mine shaft. All we have to do is find a spider spawner at this point in time, and I'm thinking it might be time we set up a little cave spider farm today. I'm going to need a lot of spider eyes, so we might just bite the bullet now and get it done with. There is some scary, scary sounding thing up there. It's spiders. There are extremely loud spiders in here right now. Oh, what is going on? Oh, there's a lot of cobwebs. Okay, this could be a spider spawner. There could be one in there. Yes, there is. There is. Okay, that's good. That's really good. And an entire horde of zombies. Okay, let's just uh, yeah get you guys up in the cobweb. Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, I hate these things. I hate these things. Always hate them. I always hate them. And we're poisoned. Okay, sad days. Sad days. Could you just get everything out of here, please? This is the first time I've seen a mine shafts in the new update. <gasps> they can come with chains now. Oh, that's so cool. I don't like this. 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 Oh, no. Okay. I don't like this. This is really cool, though. I kind of like that. Not you. This is going to be a whole project in itself just lining up this dang place. And oh, there's another spawner. Of course there is. I think I might be able to get enough oak planks out of the support beams inside of here that I don't need to go back above ground and get anything. So without any further ado, my friends, I think it's time that we get this little cave spider situation sorted over here with a good old fashioned time lapse mode. This is really short. This is really short time lapse music would be really awkward here. So we're just gonna have a really short time lapse music. Yay, time lapse is done. And there we have it, everybody. Look at this. I've been down here for a little while now. We got half a stack of string and 12 spider eyes, which is gonna be more than enough that we need for now. Now, my friends, for my plan, moving forwards with all of these potions, I think we go ahead. I was trying to guide myself there. It didn't work out too well. But I think we go ahead with leaving some gifts or kind of a trick or treat scenario at everybody's bases or at least most people's bases around us here. Quickly breeding up the kitties one more time before I forget. Let's go, boys and girls, individuals. There we go. And down into the laboratory we go where hopefully no mobs have spawned. Yep, that's pretty good. And I've got a new brewing instructor friend right over here. Heinrich, the zombie stonemason villager. <laughs> But inside of here, we've got a bunch of awkward potions. And if we add a spider eye, that turns it into a poison potion. Quickly stopping back up at the villagers because I forgot to grab some golden carrots as well as the glistening ones. And I think that'll max that dude out. And that should max you out. And nobody else wants to trade. Okay. But if we get a few of these boys and we get a few of the glistening melons as well, and my one guest here, we can have a lot of fun here with brewing up some potions. Because if we take these guys right over here, we've got potions of poison now. And all we got to do is right there is add in some gunpowder, a glistening melon here, a ghast here and here, splash potions of poison for us off of that one right there as well. And over here, we're going to be getting the glistening melon down, which will be giving potions of healing. But if we add in the fermented spider eye now over here, we've got the potions of regen ready to go off of that line. And in here, we're going to be getting potions of harming. And I believe we can just turn these directly into the splash ones. We don't want to kill anybody quite yet, but we just want to do a little scare. Just a little scare if they run over a dispenser or something. There they are. Look at all of these things. Oh, we have so many potions to mess around with now. This is going to be too fun. Make a quick stop over at the skeleton spawner because we've killed all of these dudes right down here. We should be seeing a bunch of bows down at the base. No, why are you mad at me? Why are you mad at me? Why are you mad at me? What have I done to make you mad? I might have just hit you when I hit the skeletons. Okay, goodbye. Holy cow, Sausage has been taking advantage of this deal in here. 
Whoa! I've only got a power three bow. Look at all these things. Well, anyways, all I needed to do was this. And from there, we make dispensers, which are such a pain in the butt to craft. And there we go. Finally, we are up to 12 dispensers. I've got 12 potions, so I figured 12 dispensers, not a bad way to go. I do have questions about sausage sometimes though, because how did it, oak saplings and birch saplings end up in here? You know, I haven't been back at Gem's place since uh, we got in the moss block. And this is really cool looking. Yeah, you can barely tell us that it's there. But anyways, for Gem over here, we're gonna be giving her a potion of regeneration. She's a really good ally of ours. She lives close to us and we wanna have positive, positive vibes. Good vibes only, everybody. God's place, on the other hand, is very spread out already, and he's using a lot of stone and stone brick, and ooh, that's a cool looking tree. Now, I don't want this stuff to be too obvious. I kind of want it to be off to the side. The obvious place of trap is right here on the door, so they catch it as they're walking out, but that's also where you're gonna be looking for it, and he's killed Gem. Oh, he's getting a poison po Splash potion of poison right in there, and stone pressure blade on top. From here in the nether, I really don't know where I'm going. So we did see that cobblestone right over there when we were in here earlier with Gem. I think that might be my best bet to find something. <gasps> there's one, there's one. Oh, right down there. I have no idea whose that is, but we're gonna go to that place next. And please don't knock me off. Please, please, please. Hexorifs. How are we all the way out here? This is the last place I expected to pop out, but I have to do it because last time I know he told me there's nothing going on with that one, so we have to now add a dispenser to it. <laughs> and a nice little bit of poison. This place is looking magical though. He has done a fantastic job of not using any stone, so if I put a pressure plate anywhere, it's going to stand out a lot. I'm seeing some torches down here, so this must be somebody's place. Oh, this must be Sausage's base. Okay, I think, yeah, this seems about, yep, the random doorways that go nowhere, we're in Sausage's place. Yep, another one. All right, how the heck do I get out of here? Of course, it was a basement. Now, we've messed with Sausage enough over here, so let's just go ahead and give him a regen one. So when he pops in there, the regens are really there just to make people go like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Because you hear the potion breaking, but in reality, it's good. Wasn't me. Another person on the server here not using any form of stone in any of their builds. Come on, Pearl. Hi, Bingo. You look adorable. How you doing, buddy? I'm thinking the perfect spot is right there. Okay, we'll just run away now. This, my friends, is what I call poking every single bear on the server. So fun. Oh, this is not good. I poked the wrong bears. I poked the wrong bears. I poked the wrong bears. Oh, not good. Not good at all. Oh no, 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 get me out of here, get me out of here, no, they're coming up, they're coming up, run, close the trap door, oh god, <laughs> we're just gonna leave them down there and run away. Jimmy's base over here is gonna be rather hard to trap because he has everything floating off of the ground. Now I know he's gonna be in that house quite a lot, knowing how he plays Minecraft, he loves to sit inside of his home. But that's probably where he's expecting traps to be happening. The problem is, is he's using all wood here as well. Look at this nice little campfire bridge he's made. Oh, go Jimmy. I also know Jimmy is not the most attentive person inside of Minecraft, so we'll put that right there. And you know what? I think we could get him on two of them. So we'll go ahead and put, no, let's, it's Jimmy, it's fine. The lily pads seem to be sprouting something out here. Holy cow, Lizzie has done a lot of building. What is this? That's looking beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at me, lily pads there are. I think the perfect place for a little trap right down here is uh, she comes down in here and works a lot, right? This is, this is the working position. Now I need to be very smart about this because I need to not be in there while I'm placing these. Actually, we can do this. Yeah, why not? It'll be fun. Oh, I have to get rid of the ladder though. Oh, it can go in here. And trap is armed. Now for the king of Mazalia, Smallish Beans himself. Okay, where can we throw this? I think his storage room is right back in here. The problem is, is Joel builds these massive wide open areas, so finding a spot to throw a dispenser that'll actually be hit, it's gonna be rather hard to do. I think just to mess with him, I'm gonna put one right there, and I'm gonna put one right there. This should be totally fine, and we're gonna give him a splash potion of regen there too. Just trying to be a little nice. Oh no. I was writing him a nice message. Oh no. Oh no, there's another. Okay, nope, 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 it's lagging. Nope, nope, back away. This is really awkward. Okay, well, we got rid of him. Yep, just gonna fill that in. 
Nice little bits of dirt. Wandering trader head and the chestnut horse said, Did I hope they were there? No, this is really awkward. Dearest King of Azalea, I apologize for the ke creeper. I came to bring gr gifts and they attacked your rich friend. He'll know who that is. He'll know that's me. Yeah, he'll definitely know that's me, right? Yeah, yeah, because we're very not rich on this server at all anymore. Here we are at Catherine's Basin. and I've only got two potions left. We've got two potions of harming here, so we can't do too much damage. Just something more to have some fun, right? Okay, so she's been expanding this storage room like crazy. I know she's been working in here like crazy. So I'm thinking we come all the way down to the base here. And what can we use? Maybe if she ever takes this ladder. I don't know which ladder she takes, but let's go with this one. Decorative ladder right there, right? No, that's gonna make it way too obvious. We can put this ladder instead in the furnace. The last potion here is reserved for a new member of the server who I know is now living in the jungle right next to me. Where their house is, oh, there it is. Okay, perfect, we found it. <laughs> now I'm not sure if their first episode has come out yet, so I don't really wanna spoil who it is, but it probably will have by the time I upload this video, but we're just gonna do that right down there. It'd be totally fine, right? Yeah, uh-huh, welcome to the neighborhood. And I can already see my house from here. <gasps> can we see each other's places from our own? <gasps> that could be so fun. Okay, I have no idea where that tree house is in there. Somewhere in the mess of the jungle, they are right over that, <laughs> they're right behind that tree line. Oh, this could lead to a lot of fun. We've got Gem right down there, our ally, and then we've got a newcomer right over there. Back home, safe and sound now, my friends, and I think it's time that we head back over to the skeleton spawner and actually do some enchanting of our own. Now, this pickaxe here still has efficiency three on it. This sword could use a lot of things like looting, and we've got this one to break down, and it needs mending, and this diamond axe, we really need some efficiency on it. I think everything else up here is pretty good to go. We need a new chest piece eventually, but we can get that sorted later. Oh, we need a lot of boots and chance. Boots and chance and 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 boots and chance. This is gonna be the final enchant right over here, everybody. I've been working my butt off like crazy. Sweeping edge three. Oh, we will take that. Can I combine these swords? Oh, that's looking really good. We'll need to get looting on it still, but check all this stuff out in here. We've got a new ax that now has efficiency four on it. The bow is up to power four on breaking three, and I managed on the boots to get feather falling four and unbreaking three. I am so much happier now. I'm gonna get a few more levels here because I think I got some mending books back at home that I can throw on the ax and the sword. And I thought this would be expensive. Oh, three <laughs> levels later, there we go. I'll tell you what folks, on that note, I think this is an absolutely awesome place to call it for today's episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to click that like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe if you're brand new. My friends, we got a lot more awesome Empires content on the way here, but without any further ado, I will catch you on the flip side.